this hole in the ozone layer of the atmosphere has been repairing for the past like 20 years. It's just that it's not on the news anymore. Um, so the um, sunglasses are not needed as we thought they were. Sunglasses started to um, become fashionable after Second World War because the pilots were the heroes of Second World War and they needed to wear glasses, sunglasses. And uh, well, the industries also had to produce something after the war. They were not producing weapons anymore, so they had to sell other things. Um, yeah, so um, at that time, people started to find it fashionable and sexy to wear sunglasses, but they're actually very bad for your eyes because they filter lots of the light spectrum that your eyes and your whole body need to make the adjustments that are necessary to stay healthy and to have a, a, a healthy relationship with the environment, with temperature, with the time of the day it is, and any kind of glass distorts reality. You don't see colors the same way, you don't measure distances, you don't see 3D, you don't see with your peripheral view. So actually sunglasses uh, are not good for your, for your eye, for your eyes and your vision, your eyesight. Um, they keep you from synthesizing vitamin D, and vitamin D is extremely important for many, many processes in, in your body. And um, actually, it has been discovered recently that most of the vitamin D that we synthesize, we synthesize through the light that comes to the eye and not to the skin. Because actually, well, this is, um, this is logical because the eyes are the part of the body where the light can enter the furthest inside, since lots of the structures in the eye are transparent. Um, and also, if you wear sunglasses, uh, your iris and your pupil become lazy, and then your pupil becomes uh, open. The, the iris makes the pupil wide, which is what you need when there's little light. But then, if your pupil becomes wide open and it stays that way most of the time, then you are unable to focus, because the moment when you focus the best is when there is lots of light, the pupil is very small, and that's stimulating um, the foveal vision, the central vision. Don't sunglasses protect the eyes from the UV, the ultraviolet rays? Yes, they do, but most of the time this is not necessary. And the inconveniences of having your eyes under sunglasses are more than the advantages of protecting them from ultraviolet rays. One thing that we have not been told is that the uh, hole in the ozone layer of um, of the atmosphere is repairing. When we were afraid that the ozone uh, layer of the atmosphere was full of holes and going away, well, then there were more ultraviolet rays. But that part of the atmosphere is repairing and we don't have that much of a problem anymore. And um, if you have your eyes under uh, behind sunglasses, you're keeping them from the uh, spectrum of light that they need to function well. Uh -huh. Again, the only moments when you do need sunglasses is if you're skiing uh -huh, in the snow, if you're in the desert with all the sand reflecting so much sunlight, if you're in the middle of the sea with the water reflecting so much sunlight, or if you're a pilot, you do need them, or if you're driving your car against um, the, the sun for a long time. The rest of the time, you don't need sunglasses. Rather, wear a hat or walk in the shadow or blink, or uh, you can use pinhole glasses if there's uh, too much reflection, but that, that would be my advice. Mm -hmm.